let's say you're grading your footage, everything's looking pretty good, you've got some color and contrast going on here, but when you zoom in, you all of a sudden see this red dot. Let me go even further here. Look at this red dot right here. What the heck is going on? That's called a hot pixel, and it's an issue with sensors. Uh, if they get a little overheated or maybe they're too cold, these things can pop up. Usually you'll see it um, hiding in the shadows, so if you really bring up the shadows on something, all of a sudden you might see these, these pixels like this. Sometimes they're red, sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're white. I suppose they could be green since, you know, pixels are RGB. In any case, um, this is bad, right? Well, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this and also how to prevent it depending on your camera. I shot this with an, a Zcam E2 F6, and I've actually had this issue for quite a while now. I should have fixed it earlier, but I didn't. So now I'm, I'm dealing with it in post. It's not too hard to do. Um, there's a dead pixel fixer in DaVinci Resolve. I don't know if this is included in the free version of Resolve. I, I have the studio version, which I highly recommend getting. It's $300. But anyway, you can see here, boom, if I undo that, if I turn that note on, my hot pixel is gone. There's just a slight trace of it, because basically what it's doing is, is uh, using the colors around it to get rid of that spot. But when you're out here, you're not gonna see it. So anyway, let me zoom back in and I'll show you how this works. It's pretty simple. If you go over to your effects and you're on the library here, hit the little search icon, type dead, and there it is, dead pixel fixer. Drag that onto a node. I recommend doing it in the very, very first node, even before your noise reduction nodes, because you don't want noise reduction to try to reduce that as noise. You wanna grab that very, very first thing. So drop that onto a node, and all you have to do is make sure this is on open effects overlay, and you get these, these little boxes you can draw like this. And that, you just basically draw around your your dots, and there could be multiple ones uh, in your image, and it's going to just basically get rid of the dot for you like that. Sometimes there's a little bit of a uh, artifacting, like especially when it gets around edges like that, it's slightly shifting the edge of that lip right there. That happens, but um, it's usually a lot better than uh, just leaving a red dot on your image. It just highly depends on your image. You have to play with that and see how it looks for you. Now, there's one issue that I've encountered with this, though, and that has to do when you have uh, stabilization applied. I believe this happens if you apply stabilization first and then use the dead pixel fixer. What happens is the dead pixel fixer is expecting a stationary dot like this, so it doesn't move relative to my frame because it's a pixel, a fixed pixel on the sensor. But once you apply stabilization, it's going to shift the entire image and move it around and stabilize it. And if you then drop in the dead pixel fixer, uh, it's, it's not going to find that dot because that dot's going to be moving around. So it doesn't work that way. It could also just be a bug in DaVinci Resolve, but that's what happened to me. I, I had everything stabilized, and then I added the dead pixel fixer, and it, the dot was moving all around, and it wouldn't fix it. Um, I applied my stabilization in a different way to get around this issue. So you can see right here, I'm inside of a compound clip. That's why my timeline has just a single clip. And you can see down here, if I click on the main timeline, it takes me here. My clip has this icon here. That means it's a compound clip. If I go to my color page, I have no adjustments on the compound clip except for my stabilization. So that's the workaround if you have the issue of the dead pixel fixer can't follow that dot because of the stabilization. You wanna apply the dead pixel fixer inside the clip in a compound clip and then apply the stabilization to that compound clip. That's the workaround. That way it's going to move the dead pixel fixer at the same time as the, you can see that dot is moving around because of the stabilization. So if I go into that clip, turn on the dead pixel fixer again, boom, like that. And then over here, you can see that it's still there because uh, something's not working right. I'm just getting all kinds of weirdness today with DaVinci Resolve. I had it crash earlier and it reset all my settings, like all my options here for what I'm viewing in here and uh, the waveform, everything was just reset, like the entire interface got reset because it crashed. I've never had that happen before. I've had it crash a lot of times, but I haven't had it reset my interface, and now it's doing this goofiness. So uh, bugs aside, uh, this works all the time. Let me show you how to, to find the, uh, the calibration. Uh, if you go to zcam.com, click on the software, or excuse me, support documentation. Right here it says camera calibration. This is the Zcam document on how to calibrate your sensor. Basically, it involves wrapping your camera in a blanket, I kid you not, 
and then hitting record in its highest, most strenuous recording mode, which for my camera is uh, 6K 2.4 to 1, 60 frames per second. And that's gonna get the camera heated up. You wanna get it past uh, 60 degrees Celsius. That's pretty darn hot. It's like, it's almost too hot to the touch. And then you can go into the status menu and hit the function button and bring up the pixel calibration, the camera calibration page. And uh, you got two options here. Just read through the manual here to figure out which option, option is best for you. It can take as little as two minutes on the, the uh, flagship cameras or as long as five to 10 minutes, which isn't a big deal. You're just letting it run by itself. You don't have to do anything. And after it's finished, it'll recycle or rather reboot. And hopefully all of your hot pixels will be fixed. Don't ask me what this does. Um, I don't know if it's like ignoring those pixels or doing some kind of you know calculation to replace those pixels internally. I have no idea how that does that. This I think this is similar to what the red cameras do when you um, uh, run that calibration process in the red. I can't remember what they call it there. Uh, most other cameras, like uh, prosumer cameras, like you know the Sony A7 series and the Panasonics and those kind of cameras, they don't give you this option. I don't know if they do this internally or not, but since the Z-Cam is a more professional cinema camera, it gives you this option, and thankfully so, because I've had this uh, issue show up a number of times. Now, it's not just, um, like I said, there's not just red pixels, although that's really the most common one that I've seen. Let me see if I can find the one that I was seeing on here. Yeah, here we go, right here next to my mouse. I'm gonna zoom in even more. You can see there's a blue spot, and if I play it, it's just staying right next to my mouse. It's a fixed pixel, it's a hot pixel, and again, um, I can use my dead pixel fixer to put a circle around that and it'll replace it. I actually didn't do that in this one. I only did one, again, the red dot that was around his face um, because that blue one was just so invisible. You couldn't see it to the naked eye. There's no way you're gonna really see that out here. Even with 6K footage, you know, if you're watching this on an 8K television, uh, you're not gonna make that out. So no, no, no big deal. I just wanted to show you that there are different colors of hot pixels. I usually have problems when um, let me bypass my grade. Um, when I'm underexposing my subject, so you can see here, my subject is again, yeah, they're underexposed. They're down at like 25% exposure range, which is why I'm getting that hot pixel because as I bring up my exposure on my subject, um, it's bringing up all that noise. You can see it here. I actually graded this in HDR, um, and this is just basically a conversion to SDR, which is why it looks all noisy because HDR devotes a lot of space to the shadows that Rec 709 does not. So when you do that conversion, you end up seeing a lot of that shadow noise in the uh, SDR that you don't see in HDR. In any case, um, that's hot pixels. That's where they come from. That's how you fix them. And this is how you can fix them in Zcam. And hopefully your camera has an option to fix them as well. That's all I got for you in this video. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in my next one.